Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the Gibraltar Mailbox Elite Large Capacity. It comes galvanized in white steel. It says it has a large capacity, heavy duty, white powder coated finish, uh, rust resistant, installs easily made in USA what do we have more seven pounds and so on we have a few pictures as well looks like it fits for a box or standard uh, yeah looks like a standard Amazon box a few letters here we see it on a post uh, yeah different post and match mailbox with this post designation here you have the uh, measurements um yeah the, i think this is pretty much standard a lot of people are using that here we see also where we have to put the screws um and here we see uh, uh, unfortunately we can't make it bigger but it says us mail approved by the post master something so unfortunately it doesn't uh, it, it it's not here but what does it mean uh, by the way it comes with different colors so hopefully you can see that we go to the first picture we see it's available in black in somewhat green and white but white is the cheapest uh, with $17 and green is can't see that at the moment we have to check the sellers uh, yeah, it's much more expensive, 32 and uh, yeah, intermediate black with $26 at the moment. So, um, yeah, it looks like pretty cheap. Um, yeah, here we see again US mail approved by the postmaster general or something like that. What does it mean? Uh, before you buy especially in USA of course before you buy a mailbox you have to make sure or before you buy and install a mailbox you have to make sure that it fits to the requirements of USPS and you can go to the site uh, USPS.com manage mailboxes and then you see how to set the whole thing up hope you can see that unfortunately yeah okay so we can see all the uh, measurements how deep you have to dig how, what's the maximum high what's the minimum high what's the gap from the um, curb and what whatsoever all the things about placing installing and so and the most important thing actually I mean all the things here you can change but what you can't change is uh, if you have a mailbox which do, is not approved by USPS and that means you have to buy a mailbox which is approved by the postmaster general so it says it comes with a seal of approval i don't know uh, if this is the same i mean is this a seal of approval when it is here on the front i don't know maybe we find something more in the box so let's check uh, check the box so it doesn't say a lot about the approval here i think it's more like installation there's a yeah i'm really interested to see how many um how many parts there is uh, there are and it says usps approved e16 that's something else usps approved e16 i haven't seen that online here we have other things to see made in usa yeah there's not so much to see about that so let's open this thing. I think it's quite 
Yeah, it's not, well, it's not so easy. Yeah, I don't know if I have to cut or just open the box on the side. I try. Oh, I hit the camera. Nice. So I open it here and take it out from here. That seems to be somehow easy. I hope I can pull it from here. I think yeah that's the one I like to buy I had one of these already before at my previous home and hopefully we can see that it says US mail approved by the postmaster general is there something in here it comes empty so I haven't checked about installation but it looks like it's fully assembled even this flag on the side when you have to uh, when you have mails to pick up how does it work the thing is uh, it's quite good there's a mechanism that seems to be new I had an old one obviously which had a different mechanism um, this looks a little bit more sophisticated uh, somehow it has some resistance that uh, if you put it up and there is some wind or so it so it doesn't go down with easily so looks like there is something I don't know how they did that underneath it still looks the same the uh, button is a little bit recessed here we see all the screws I mean the holes for the screws um, that's in the back there shouldn't be any holes but I'm planning to attach it from the back only I hope it's sturdy enough to um, yeah to hold it just with the back I'm not sure at the moment how I will do that because it's a little bit difficult to drill inside my power drill or battery drill is a little bit too large to fit into this um, mailbox so maybe I just make a hole and then I have to screw to tighten the screw just manually without um, yeah without any power so we can see what we can see here it's a little bit bent um, yeah I mean it's a mailbox it doesn't have to be perfect maybe I hope you can see that when I zoom in a little bit you can easily see that it comes bent does it have to be like this I don't know maybe it was yeah a little bit I don't know let's check from here it seems maybe it, it's it's just a manufacturing process um, yeah when you check here so it's not attached here here it's it's uh, attached here it's not attached in the middle it's attached and not here not here so it's probably just the manufacturing process and nothing else but apart from that looks really good so I think the size is good uh, I'll check with a um, I think I hopefully uh, I'll have a, a box let's check so here I have uh, something like a standard Amazon box uh, where, yeah I would consider this as an Amazon box it's not the very smallest one but it's it's one they use uh, really uh, frequently and as you can see actually it would fit except from this thing on the side that's a pain uh, I think it this thing is really needed so there's a plastic part in here that it was not like this with the old construction so with the new construction it's a little bit dark and when I zoom in it's um yeah the quality video quality is not the best but, but i hope you can still see what the problem is 
this construction here uses up uh, a lot of space. I don't know why they came up with the idea to make the thing smaller uh, with this. So maybe it works when I put it in an upright position. Uh, okay, yeah, that works. So I hope uh, the USPS guys, they know <laughs> that it works like this and they don't try like this and give up and throw the thing just in my driveway but it's a little bit pain actually it would exactly fit into the mailbox but it does not fit because of this thing here so i don't know how it will end i will definitely set it up and yeah, the special thing in my case is I won't set it up as uh, my first mailbox. I'm planning to use it as a second mailbox because my first, my my uh, yeah, actual mailbox which I have, I'm renting here in this home, and the owner decided to use a much smaller mailbox, and there's no chance to put something like this into the mailbox, and so I have all the boxes in my driveway and when it rains it's a huge mess and I can't put something in my mailbox to pick up so it's uh, really bad so I'm using this as a second mailbox I was talking to my mail uh, mailman and he was saying yeah okay I can put uh, a note in my uh, like in my premium or my real mm, mailbox at the curb uh, I can put a note and say, yeah, please check the second mailbox, which is attached to the gate post. So I hope this will work now. Um, yeah, I'll see. And uh, I'll let you know in the description or in the commentary, you will see how it turns out. It's not so expensive. That's another reason why I selected the white one. Um, yeah, just $17. It's not a lot of waste of money. So, but the good thing is it's really fully assembled. The door works really good. It has some resistance to open and to close, not too much, but really good so far. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I will you, uh, I will keep you posted definitely. And oh, yeah, I'll check the um the box so here we have the box so there's nothing in there not any nothing really zero there's not even a description not an instruction not uh like um whom to contact no support information no additional information really nothing zero that's a little bit annoying but maybe I find something on the box. Uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit strange when you have a product made in USA and you don't get any support information, not even real, really the name of a company. Uh, I'll try to find out. I don't see anything. Gibraltar Industries, all rights reserved. But there is not even a web page. Ah, oh, here, yeah, here we have something. Yeah, Gibraltar, um, Gibraltar mailboxes.com. Here we have it. So, if you need something, that's the way to go. Oh, and here we have a description. Hold on a second. I put this to the side. Yeah, of course, that was the thing we had at the beginning. It says push uh, push something I don't know what we can do if the flag is loose the flag keeper can be adjusted to increase the tightness push the flag keeper towards the back of the mailbox unit the f until the flag is at the desired tightness okay that's interesting and yeah, the tension here can be adjusted. So that's also good. If it's too tight, then you can probably lower it. If it's not tight enough, then you can 
uh, yeah, this hook here can be adjusted up or down a little bit. So I bring the mailbox back. So let's check within. So yeah, that's the hook. Um, a little bit difficult. So here you see this hook, it can be bent up to make it tight, a little bit more tight, bend it down to make it less tight. And But let's check this thing here to adjust the flag. So I can see that. Still not much uh, light, unfortunately. So this thing we can pull or push. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, looks like, oh my goodness, it's totally gone, I broke this thing totally, so looks like I didn't break anything, but it's hard to put it back at the moment, uh, so I have this o-ring, I have this part, so we have to put everything back at the same time, there are two holes, you have to align that, and... Now I have a little problem to put the camera back to the in the inside. I think it should be on this side. There's a little bit like a like a saw. Uh, I think that comes to the inside. Yeah, hope you were able to hear that. So you see now it's totally loose. And when I push it inside, so there's definitely more resistance. So I think that's good for now. So maybe because I'm using that as a secondary mailbox, I don't need that actually. Maybe I can remove it and there's a little bit more space for the boxes. I don't know how I will do that or if I will really use the flag here on the side. I will figure out on the long term. But yeah, it's exactly what I needed at the cheap price not much information but i probably will find it on gibraltarmailboxes.com so if you like the thing and uh, if you want to order one i'll put down the link in the description and if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time